in today's technological world, nursing history mission of providing comfort to patients and family members is even more important. Comfort is an antidote to the stressors inherent in healthcare situations today. When comfort is enhanced, patients and family are strengthened for the tasks ahead. In addition, nurses feel more satisfied with the care that they are giving, according to Kathleen Kolkaba. Hello everyone, today I'm here to discuss to you the theory of comfort by Kathleen Kolkaba. So sit back, relax, and lend me your ears to this amazing theory. I am Marie Giselle Carpi from BSN1A, your reporter for today. So first, let's have a quick introduction to who Catherine Kolkaba is. Catherine Arnold, or famously known as Catherine Kolkaba, was born on December 8, 1944 in Cleveland, Ohio. She is an American theorist and a nursing professor. She developed the comfort theory a mid-range nursing theory that has been implemented at the institutional level. Dr. Kolkaba earned a nursing diploma from St. Luke's Hospital School of Nursing in 1965. She earned her Master's of Science in Nursing at Case Western Reserve University in 1978 and her doctoral degree in philosophy from the same school in 1997. She got the Distinguished Alumni Award from Cleveland and St. Luke's Nurses Alumni Association in 2007. Currently, Dr. Kolkaba is an Associate Professor Emeritus at University of Akron. She also holds an adjunct position in Ursuline College. Do you ever wonder what comfort theory is all about? Well, Kolkaba conducted a concept analysis comfort that examined literature from several disciplines including nursing, medicine, psychology, psychiatry, ergonomics, and English. She also described comfort as existing in three forms, which are relief, ease, and transcendence. Also, Kolkaba described the four contexts in which patient comfort can occur. These are physical, psycho-spiritual, environmental, and social-cultural. First form of comfort is relief. Relief is when a particular need of a patient is satisfied. It has the same principles as Orlando's need-based philosophy of nursing, which was discussed by the previous reporter. If specific comfort needs of a patient are met, for example, the relief of post-operative pain by administering prescribed analgesia, the individual experiences comfort in the relief sense. Second form of comfort is ease. Ease is a state of a person that is calm and content, which also consistent with the 13 fundamental human requirements by Henderson. If the patient is in the comfortable state of the contentment, the person experiences comfort in the ease sense. For example, how one might feel after having issues that are causing anxiety addressed. Lastly, transcendence. Transcendence is a state of a person which one outgrows in difficult situation or pain. It originates from the principles used by Patterson and Derad to denote more being. Kolkaba asserted that they eventually lead to a state of transcendence or renewal in which the individual has moved past the initial discomfort with the end result being increase of the individual strength. Furthermore, Kolkaba defined healthcare needs as identified by the patient or family in a particular practice settings. Intervening variables are those factors that are not likely to change and over which providers have a little control such as prognosis, financial situation, extent of the social support, and etc. Comfort. Comfort is an immediate desirable outcome of nursing care according to the comfort theory. Nursing interventions. Nurses plan interventions and coordinate their activities to fulfill the unmet comfort needs. Enhanced comfort. Nurses attain the outcome of enhanced comfort with implementation of appropriate interventions in a caring way. 
health-seeking behaviors, by attaining state of enhanced comfort patient, family, and nurses further unite their ties of health-seeking behavior which cultivate more comfort. This can be internal and external. In internal, this includes healing, immune function, number of T-cells, and etc. While in external, it includes health-related activities, functional outcomes, and peaceful death. HSB was divided into three parts, and these are institutional integrity, best practices, and best policies. Institutional integrity was defined as the values, financial stability, and wholeness of healthcare organizations at local, regional, state, and national levels. Best practices are those protocols and procedures developed by an institution for specific patient or family applications after collecting evidence. Best policies are protocols or procedures developed by an institution for overall use after collecting evidence. The difference between best policies and best practices is that best practices is developed for a specific patient's or family applications after collecting evidence, while best policies is developed for overall use after collecting evidence. As you can see in the slide, these are the recipients of comfort measures that can be diverse. First is of course, patients. Second is family members, healthcare providers, students, prisoners, workers, older adults, communities, and institutions. Next is the factors that affect how the patient perceives total comfort which is under the intervening variables. First is past experiences, second is the age, finances, attitude, emotional state, support system, and prognosis. Kolkaba also describes the four contexts in which comfort is experienced. Kolkaba describes physical contexts of comfort as pertaining to bodily sensations. For example, positioning, returning to bed when requested, and better seating arrangements are some of the physical comfort examples. While in psycho-spiritual, it is pertaining to internal awareness of self, including self-esteem, self-concept, sexuality and meaning of life the relationship to higher order or being for example feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment of ego integrity boosts self-esteem in environmental kolkaba defines it as to external surroundings conditions and influences lastly kolkaba defines social cultural as to interpersonal family and societal relationships for example, culturally sensitive attitudes of nurses towards different cultures and social groups convey a comforting behavior. These are the principles of comfort theory that are relevant to the patient experience. Each interaction involves the therapeutic use of self. Nursing staff identify the holistic comfort needs of patients and family members and design the interaction to meet those needs. Nursing staff approach each family member with the intent to comfort and make personal, culturally relevant connection. Nursing staff regularly reassesses comfort of patients and family members. Nursing staff document comfort levels routinely. These are the four broad assumptions and theoretical assertions. Human beings have holistic responses to complex stimuli. Comfort is a holistic outcome of effective nursing care. Human beings have a need of comfort and will seek comfort whenever possible. Nurses are the position to identify the comfort needs of their patients, design comfort measures, and reassesses or assesses outcomes to support enhanced comfort. Next is the goals of the theory. Patient, family members, Nurses and other healthcare workers became satisfied with the comfort measures they received in order to engage in HSVs or health seeking behaviors. Higher patient or nurse function, faster discharge, reduces readmission rate, improves satisfaction with care, longevity of employment, stronger cost benefit ratio for the institution, 
provide a foundation for healthcare to implement comfort and model as an unifying framework for care delivery. There are three comfort care actions that can be applied to your workplace or to your patients. These are the comfort interventions, coaching, and comfort food for the soul. Comfort interventions. This includes pain medications, turning or repositioning, splinting incisions, obtaining assessments, and vital signs. Coaching. It is the reassurance, emotional support, listening, teaching, and answering questions. Last, comfort food for the soul. This is not literally the food that we eat, but this is about filtered lighting, quiet room, calming music, Facilitate family coming to the bedside and allow periods of undisturbed rest of or peace of mind. Here you can see the taxonomic structure that provides a map of content domain of comfort. It is anticipated that future researchers will design instruments using the structure such as the questionnaire developed from the taxonomy for the end of life instrument. The other diagram is the conceptual framework which will be the basis of the researchers and future researchers for their studies. Meta paradigm in nursing. Nursing is described as the process of assessing the patient comfort needs, developing and implementing appropriate nursing interventions, and evaluating patient comfort following nursing interventions. Intentional assessment of comfort needs the design of comfort measures to address the whole needs, and the reassessment of comfort levels after implementation. Assessment may be either objective, such as the observation of wood healing, or subjective, such as by asking the, if the patient is comfortable. Health. Health is considered to be optimal functioning as defined by the patient, group, family, or community. Patients or persons can be considered as individuals, families, institutions, or communities in need of health care. Environment In any aspect of the patient, family, or institutional setting that can be manipulated by the nurse, a loved one, or institution to enhance comfort. It can be also an external surrounding of a patient, either family or institutional surroundings that can be manipulated to enhance comfort. Acceptance by the nursing community Practice Students and nurse researchers have frequently selected this theory as a guiding framework for their studies in areas such as nurse midwifery, perioperative nursing, nurse long-term care, stressed college students, dementia patients, and palliative care. Education. According to Goodwin, Senner, and Stainer of 2007, they described the guidelines of applying the theory of comfort in accelerated baccalaureate nursing programs. The theory proved to be easy for the faculty to understand and apply, provided an effective method to role model a supportive learning partnership with the students. The theory is appropriate for students to use in any clinical settings and its application can be facilitated by the use of comfort care plans. Research An entry in the Encyclopedia of Nursing Research speaks to the importance of measuring comfort as the nursing sensitive outcome. Nurses can provide evidence to influence decision making at the institutional, community, and legislative levels through studies that demonstrate the effectiveness of comforting care. Kolkaba called for measurement of comfort in large hospitals and home care to expand the theory and develop literature on evidence-based comfort. Assumptions Human beings have holistic responses to complex stimuli. Comfort is an immediate and desirable holistic state of human beings that is germane to the discipline of nursing. Human beings strive to meet or to have meet their basic comfort needs. Nurses are to identify comfort needs of their patients and find ways to address those needs. Theory Analysis Clarity Some of the early articles such as concept analysis may lack clarity. 
but are consistent in terms of definitions, derivations, assumptions, and propositions. Clarity is much improved in the article explicating the theory of and subsequent articles. Kolkaba applies the theory to specific practices using academic but understandable language. All the research concepts are defined theoretically and operationally. Generality Kolkaba's theory has been applied in numerous research settings, cultures, and age groups. The only limiting factor for its application is how well nurses and administrators value it to meet the comfort needs of the patients. If nurses, institutions, and communities are committed to this type of nursing care, the theory of comfort enables efficient, individualized, holistic practice. The taxonomic structure of comfort facilitates researchers' development of comfort instruments for new settings. Simplicity The theory of comfort is simple because it is basic to nursing care and the traditional mission of nursing. Its language and application are now low technology, but this does not prelude its use in highly technological settings. These are the variables of theory and selected variables may vary use for research or educational projects. The main thrust of the theory is for nurses to return to the practice focus on the holistic needs of patients inside or outside institutional walls. It's simplicity that allows students and nurses to learn and practice the theory easily. Accessibility the first part of the theory asserting that effective nursing interventions offered over time will demonstrate enhanced comfort has been tested and supported with numerous studies. Furthermore, enhanced comfort was a strong predictor of increased health-seeking behaviors, meaning when patients are more comfortable, they do better in rehab or recovery. This relationship supports the second and third part of the comfort theory. Importance. The theory of comfort describes patient-centered practice and explains how comfort measures matter to patients, their health, and the valuability of institutions. The theory predicts the benefit of effective comfort measures or interventions for enhancing comfort and engagement in health-seeking behaviors. The theory of comfort is dedicated to sustaining nursing by bringing the discipline back to its roots documentation of comfort strategies and their effects empirically demonstrate the art of nursing. The outcome of comfort describes the effects of memorable helping interactions with nurses that they go beyond checklists or physician's orders. So let's proceed to the empirical precision and derivable consequences. Empirical precision. The theory of comfort has been adapted to several different fields of nursing aside to its original focus of dementia care. This also leads to nurses to realize the importance of education. Also, it provided hospice nurses with a broader outlook on how to provide holistic comfort to their healing and dying patients. Derivable Consequences The theory of comfort is a very practical concept as everyone feels better when they are comfortable. Patients and families are more able and willing to absorb information when they are comfortable and focused. Furthermore, nurses should think more about their patients if they are comfortable, discomfortable, and what is causing them to be comfortable and discomfortable strengths and weaknesses or limitations of the theory. Strengths Kolkaba is still actively teaching and constantly expanding her theory to new disciplines of nursing. The theory is applicable to modern nursing profession. It is easily searchable, understandable, and applicable, and it uses common, easy observable variables that are easily measured by the nurse and can be used for research and performance review. Weaknesses and limitations. The comfort intervention for an adequate staffing is difficult to be accomplished. Health insurance companies have limitations on the reimbursement of healthcare services provided by the institutions. So, 
nurses have no choice but to take care of an increasing numbers of patients. The increased patient nurse ratios can increase nurses' discomfort in the work environment. To sum up everything that has been stated about the comfort theory of Catherine Kolkaba, comfort theory is applicable to all areas of the healthcare field, nursing practice, nursing education, nursing research, to first, improve societal acceptance, appreciation of the institution, increase patient satisfaction, comforting the learner or student in an educational environment, and lastly, test the benefits of comfort in learning. I hope you learned something from me and thank you for listening. God bless and stay safe.